We're Michael and Jess. We're a crazy married couple that moved out of our apartment, sold our cars and our belongings for the opportunity to travel full time. After spending the last three weeks in the busy city of Florence, Italy, we decided to make the trek to stay overnight in a peaceful off-grid tiny home in the mountains of Tuscany. rental car what up we have decided that we are going to go to the tuscan countryside and we're going to go off grid we're actually going up into the mountains i don't know how far up into the mountains but we're going up into the mountains we're going to stay on someone's property in a tiny home there's going to be no service i don't think there's gonna be any wi-fi very limited elect very limited electricity. We'll have a gas like camping cooking stove to cook on, but there's no refrigerator. I guess you just have to see when we see because I feel like I have very limited information. We have a two hour drive to get where we're parking and then we have a 45 minute hike. But being the brilliant people that we are, we kind of forgot that we needed to bring clothes for winter stuff. Oh. So it snowed Yeah, and we have tennis shoes. I'm driving because I get car sick all the time. So bad. And I think the roads out in the countryside are very windy, maybe steep. And I can't do that. It's been interesting. I made a point to rent a car from the, oh no. You want to go straight? straight? Okay. <laughs> I made a point to rent a car not in the downtown you like city area one. because um, it's crazy. Like people just walk in the road. It's a whole thing. Like um, cars drive wherever. It's just like pure chaos and very disorganized and not something that I wanted to drive in at all. So we're fighting already. We are because Michael's yelling at me. I ah. just ran a red light. Well, good news, she didn't say that when I blew the red light. I also have road rage, so. Yellow, yellow. <laughs> I can't do that. So we almost ran out of road. Oh my God, get me out of the city. I can't do this anymore. Disclaimer, I was not recording or anything when I ran the red light. Just wanted to put that out there. Yes. Also, Jess gets really nervous. She's a great driver, but she gets really nervous when she's in new places. And she's I'm not a great nervous. driver. My whole family right now is screaming at the TV. driving she's super car sick we've been on this road for about seven miles um, and we have 18 miles to go to 
total. So we have 11 more miles and this has taken us 20 minutes to go seven miles. It's very curvy. If you've ever been on the road to Hana, this isn't as bad as that, but this is pretty bad. minute hike. Wow, that water is beautiful. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> We've been walking for 30 minutes. It's been straight uphill. Yeah. And um, muddy. Very. So basically I'm saying good times. to our off-grid Airbnb. And I'm looking out the window right now at some beautiful snow-covered mountains in this very cute little space. And I'm feeling like the journey to get here, it was worth it. It was worth it. When we arrived at the property, the directions told us to go one way and it wasn't the right way. So we're just right across the way from where we are supposed to park. So the whole thing is that we park at the base of this part of this mountain and then we were supposed to hike 45 minutes up. We get to this place where the directions tell us go up this road. It's not a normal road. It's definitely like a gravel moss, like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm starting to question if this is what we're supposed to do, but I, I think, okay, well, the, that's what the coordinates this person gave me were, so I'm just gonna keep going. We go up, finally get to this one place where it looked steep, like. It looked really steep, and I, there was a couple of guys standing there. Yeah, I didn't have good feelings about it, but I tried to do it anyways, I gun it, cannot get up this hill. This sweet, this sweet old Italian man comes over, so he realizes that we have an automatic and he's like, oh no, oh no. You can see the dread on his face. You can see it just like, oh no, are they going to be able to get out? 
<laughs> Long story short, we did get out. So we finally found a place to park and we meet this guy named Mario. Mario. Yes, he did. Because when I said his name, he said, no, it's Mario. <laughs> it's me, Mario. I don't know. You didn't say it. it. Mm -hmm. You should know Mario. <laughs> <laughs> so we meet Mario and he said we're trying to speak with him and every time we'd ask him to speak into the Google Translate he, just <laughs> he did quiet. not understand yeah. I even said into the Google Translate you can talk here talk into the phone <laughs> and then at one point he was like holding the phone up to his ear but he wouldn't say anything he'd just stand there it was like, very cute <laughs> We ask him if we can park where we're parking and I'm we, still not sure. <laughs> we're still not sure if he said yes. We're still not sure if he said that he did own the place. We don't know, but we parked there and then he looks at us and he knows that we're going to this Airbnb and he looks at our shoes and he starts laughing at us, pointing at our shoes. No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> And now we've made it here to the Airbnb. And we also are going to cook a dinner up here. We're gonna enjoy your evening. so beautiful here it's very cold very cold. if you don't tend to the fire All it goes night. out and it goes out in like 30 minutes yeah i don't know we <laughs> I think must we be doing something, something wrong <laughs> so one of the tougher parts about living off grid here in tuscany is we <laughs> literally have to go to an outhouse yeah it's pretty much it's a nice outhouse i will say that it's very cute and has all of the amenities so that's wonderful. It's cold, and that means we have to get all bundled up to go outside. So we're gonna take you on a little journey so you can see where it's at. I'm not saying that we've been 
like purposely dehydrating ourselves so we didn't have to go in the cold to go to the bathroom. But I literally have a mark on my head. You do? From yeah, what? from the fire. Did you burn yourself? No, my hands got all ashy. <laughs> Is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Got chair, you got the heater. You got the shower with the rain shower. Toilet. And it's very nice. I really wanna know, really wanna know. So we just did off-grid and living for a night. Yes. You think, Jesse, could you do it? No. No. I don't think so. The bathroom situation was a little weird for us. Our thought is we probably couldn't do it. Could you do it? Let us know in the comments below what you think. McDonald's, Italy. Yeah. What? Come on, son. We don't break the rules, okay? The rental agreement. We raining. also don't that break person the drove off the road, so at least I didn't do that. Did you see that? Up here, you have to turn to the right. Disclaimer: so I get in the right lane. I don't know. I guess <laughs> we decided to walk everywhere in the city, and now I'm grateful for that. <laughs> I can't do that. Where's the light even? I can't even right see. Right here on it, the sides. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you good, bro? I'm in my jammies. <laughs> we <didn't... laughs> so <laughs> we. Speaker got no fucking eye. It's real. The struggle. My contacts are messed up. Are we too city? Probably. Comment below. I'm a cat whisperer. What is that, Josie? <laughs> it's a meow meow kitty. It's a what? It's a meow meow kitty. Oh, we are bougie. A little bougie. Did you hear my new hit single? What is it? I got a pocket, got a pocket full of rocks.